Hello, my name is Georgia Skeen. I am a teacher currently teaching in year five and this is my fourth year of teaching. I am working in a school called Whitehouse Primary School which is based in Stockton on Tees in the north east of England. We are mainly a two form entry school. We've got a smaller intake coming in at the moment so we've got some split classes in year one and two but historically we've been a two form entry large school. We have provision here for SEN children with additional needs and um, so we have physios that visit and we have separate classrooms for those children to learn maths and English in the morning but we work as an inclusive school so that those children are um, facilitated in all aspects of the curriculum so they spend time in the mainstream classroom every single day but then they do have the specialist provision in the morning for their English and maths learning. We are in a mixed catchment area. We have some very affluent, family, affluent families and we have some families who are um, on the lower end of that scale um, but for the most part families are very very supportive here. Um, at the moment we've got a little bit of a rise of EAL children coming through the school particularly lower down. Um, historically upper in the school we have EAL children but parents are quite fluent in the English language, so it hasn't been too much of an issue. We are seeing more and more now parents who struggle with the English language a little bit. Um, so we have recently undertaken some whole school training around dealing with EAL parents and how to support them with their children's learning, particularly down in the lower end of school where they're doing phonics and thinking about the different sounds of how to read and how to spell. And also on, on flip side, up in year six when they're trying to write in the correct tense. We've noticed that's something that is sometimes an issue when you communicate from one language to the other. On the same theme of languages, in Key Stage 2 we teach Spanish from in years three, four, five and six. Um, that is hopefully trying to be weekly at the moment to try and integrate a different side of their learning. Um, if we go back to the SEN side of things because that is such a huge part of why we are at school. We do also have a hydrotherapy pool for students to use and students are taught about different kinds of special educational needs so they can be completely immersed in that world um, and know how the different things can affect different pupils that are of their same age. Parents love the, that fact of this school and that's something that this school is really special for. Uh, particularly in when they get up at the school in year five and six and parents start to look for different secondary schools we find that parents are wanting to send those children to inclusive secondary schools rather than sending them to special needs schools because they've loved and enjoyed the atmosphere that we have here.